We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you feeling today, Kyle? I'm feeling pretty well, Jared. Feeling pretty well. How are you doing? Uh, and I feel like I need to WD-40 my... Is that coming through? I, I wonder if the noise gate's getting that. Every time I touch the microphone, it squeaks at me. I need some nope. WD-40. I just need You're to good. replace this fucking microphone stand because... They're not even expensive is the thing. And yet it's always breaking, it's squeaking, and yet I just keep putting up with it. We <laughs> Guys, th this is a really good opportunity to uh, remind you that you can support this podcast financially <laughs> by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com. All right, we're going we're gonna to start off strong. This is, this is the Ask Sloopcast questions where our patrons ask the questions... And we provide the answers. So we're going to start off strong here, Jared. We're going to start off strong. All right. Do, do the Sloop Cats. Mm -hmm. Who are our get fans? Speaking, yes. Get speaking privileges during the mm -hmm. Wasteland episodes. I, I am entertaining that idea. I think I've talked. I don't know if I talked about this. I've talked about this during our, uh, once again, Kyle, I'm plugging the Patreon again. I'm a professional. Um, during our Patreon exclusive episodes, I have, I think I've only shared it on those episodes, um, plans to potentially set up like a voicemail box, uh, plans to, um, potentially do like some game reviews in which I might invite a couple people on to like rewatch would, some games with us. That um, would be fun. Yeah. And we should do that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> gangly send you love in quotes letters now here's the thing about the voicemail box though uh when i when i brought this up last time um they were like but, but will you like listen to the voicemails first or will they go on unfiltered i'm not stupid we would 100 percent listen to them first I just need to figure out like the, I, I like that idea, by the way. I just need to figure out all the technical stuff. Yeah, no, see, the, the, we will not turn this into the fine bomb show. That That's the thing. We will not be doing that. All right. Uh, next. All right. Next question. Uh, we go to our favorite topic, Jared, from Kombudo. Okay. Are solar flares with an mm -hmm. effect that reaches Earth weather? I would say that the solar flare is not weather, but the effect is. It is. In the same way that the rays from the sun aren't weather, radiation, solar radiation, which is basically what a solar flare is, that's not weather. But the radiation hitting our atmosphere is weather. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So, yes. The thing isn't the, weather, the but the is effect yes. is weather. Yep. All right. Uh, got another question here. What is what is one NFL and one USFL rule you want the college football to adopt? Uh, okay, first off, I just need to state this. I've not watched any USFL. If the USFL makes it to season three, I'll start paying attention to it. But I'm not going to invest it into another spring league that folds uh, <laughs> immediately. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Uh, by the way, if you want an alternative spring football to watch, I'm starting to get into the fan-controlled football on Twitch. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> is it good? No, it is not. No. Is it fun? No. Yes, it is. So I'm going to instead adopt a rule from uh, from the uh, fan controlled football league and say, I want to I want to I want to pick a play. And I'm not saying I'm I'm just saying for some spring games. I, I just want for the spring games for the fans to be able to call a couple plays. That's all I want. What? It's just for the spring game, May maybe even Akron or Youngstown State. I would I want to call three plays for Young Sound State. What about the um Jared calling quarterback sneak for a whole quarter? Do I look like Urban Meyer to you? 
draw, what sneak, the, sneak, what draw, about the whatever. Point, what about the two point conversion? You mean the three point conversion? No, from the uh, the FCF. Oh, I don't. It's I'm just <laughs> listen. I just want to call plays. That's that. All I want to do is call some plays. Okay. I want to be up. 77 to nothing over Youngstown State and then dial up a bomb. Just just to mm, just just to be like, yeah, that, that's all I want. All right. I want Ohio State to score 100 points. And the only way that's going to happen. Is if they let me call plays in the fourth quarter. All right. Uh, Buckeye Zach is the wasteland of 2022 somewhere or excuse me, in the wasteland of, of the 2022 summer, will we be hearing more Odin's wrath on the show with speaking privileges? You won't be hearing less. You've heard zero to this point. All right. And uh, should we start networking our own mining operation within the bit chain together? Oh, you realize how much computing power that takes? I don't, I don't have that much money for electric. All right, uh, why is the NBA playoffs just good, awful to even care about anymore? It just depends upon, like, this just depends upon if your team's in it or not, right? And I, I, I don't know. Like, sometimes I enjoy it and sometimes I don't, and... Right now, I, I, I can't force myself to care. I can't force myself to care about the NBA playoffs right now. Um, I, I, that, that's it. I don't know. It, I, don't, I don't have like some sort of, it's just personal. Like I just, I personally just don't care right now. And I, I'm not trying to make some sort of larger commentary on it because it's, it's not, I don't, I don't have anything interesting to say, Kyle. Next question. All right. <laughs> After the USFL folds at the end of its inaugural season, uh-huh. Do we see do we see rural adaptation by the NFL leading into this fall? No. What? What what what, what rule? Guys in the chat who have actually watched some USFL, what rules do you want implemented? Like I'm gonna turn this question back on you guys. Oh, you're asking me USFL questions. I haven't seen the USFL. Three point. Three point. Explain the three pointer to me. Like, while they're writing, while they're writing, Jared, one thing I like, I would like the NFL to adapt, is the drone camera. But the drone camera is actually the, pretty cool. They already have the spider camera. Isn't that the same thing? Um, three point conversions from the ten and and helmet cameras. Um, I don't, uh, helmet cameras are, I don't know. I feel like they tried helmet cameras back in the 90s and they sucked then, but that was the 90s and camera technology and Wi-Fi technology and everything has has gone up a lot since then. Um, again, I haven't watched USFL. If y'all are saying that they're cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I. We already have a they pylon cam. The pylon cam, the thing about the pylon cam, though, is that. There, it's, it's transferring power. Um when you have to run off a battery and you're jostling it and all these things, that's just going to like, you have to think of like a GoPro, right? Can we get a microphone put on the game ball so we can hear everything? I'm all up for miking the players 24 seven with audio. But the thing is like, do they make a GoPro that live streams would be my question. Ooh. Because that to me is a helmet cam and a drone cam or like the police body cams. Let the people see what really ha- uh, you are venturing into territory. I don't want to talk about on the show. Um, but I guess my, my point is, is that like, can we put a good camera in the helmet that doesn't potentially affect the, the player's health, just like, so that we aren't compromising the helmet in any way. Um, a, one that can live stream, you know, just to like a whatever in the building. And and can it can it not be can it not be ass cheeks? Can can the quality actually be good? 
Um, they show the footage from the camera after the replay. That's cool, but could you pull that off in an NFL stadium with... Because, like, there's a lot more going on in an NFL stadium as far as interference and all that. Um, and again, I haven't seen it. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's great. And if it's great, let's see it. I don't know. That's not like a rule, though. That's just more of a fee. That's like a TV feature. If USFL can do it, why not? Um, because there's a lot more happening in an NFL stadium. Like, okay, I like. I'm not. I'm not going to try and turn this into IT person talk. But the more shit that's happening in the stadium, the more interference there is. You can kind of pull that off in a USFL stadium because there aren't a thousand media people there with their own cameras and their own stuff going on. There aren't 60,000 people in the stadium with cell phone cameras. Frequency deconflict ion. Oh, I mean, again, like what technology is it possible? Yes. Is it worth it for the NFL or whoever to actually implement it? I'm just saying it's more difficult in a stadium filled with people. Then it and that's so you say why why can the USFL do it and the NFL can't? That's why USFL needs to do it. They they need gimmicks. They need gimmicks. It's worth it for the USL USFL to pull it off because they need gimmicks and because it's easier for them to do it. Does the is it worth it for the NFL to do it? Is it actually going to look good enough? given the restrictions that are in an NFL environment. And if the answer is yes, then fucking do it. I'm all for it. I, I the more access, the better. I I'm all for that. Um, but just, you, you ask the question, if the, if the USFL can do it, why not the NFL? Well, that's why. Yeah. All right. Um, basketball question, Jared, EJ Liddell, uh, but guys, Zach asks, EJ Liddell seems prepped, ready, and fine-tuned. Where do you see him getting picked at in the draft, and to whom? No, I, I don't. I don't follow NBA draft stuff at all. I've, I've no idea. I have, I have no good question or no good answers here. I don't either. So I'm just going to pull up a random. Yeah, look it up, Kyle. Look it up. <laughs> I'm going to pull up randomly, and I see here in the 18th pick in the first round, E.J. Liddell is selected by the Chicago Bulls. Hey, why not? It sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we'll go. We'll go with the. We'll go with the Chicago Bulls then. Yeah, but that's about like that's about where I thought he would go, right? Like middle first round. I mean, he's like a middle first round guy. That makes sense to me. Um, he's not like a, he's not like a, a, a world changing top 10 pick, but he's an incredibly solid player that can contribute for a very long time. That, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. As far, but I don't follow the NBA close enough to be like, is that a good situation for him because of scheme, because of who's currently on the team because of this or because I have no idea. I don't follow the NBA that closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Odin wants you, Jared, to explain exactly what a contusion is. It's just like a bruise, right? I, it's just like you got hit really hard and like it affected you. <laughs> that's, 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 that's about it, right? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Where's, where, we have, we have a we have a, a medical student at the very least in the chat. They can they can tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Uh, but the uh, yeah, it's just just a bruise essentially. A contusion. A contusion. a contusion. It's just a bruise, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's just a bruise. Yeah. See, there you go. It's, yeah. There you go. All right. Odin also asks, how bad do you have to to be? To throw a combined no hitter and still lose. Why did you spell combined or why did you pronounce combined so weirdly? Is my is my follow up question to that. Oh no, ask Odin. No, you 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 read it. Make sure I make sure it says combined. Okay. 
Um, I, I, I don't know. Stop asking me baseball questions. Like, I at least kind of I know the game of basketball, on, even if I don't he follow. He, maybe he thought he was on third base. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. All right. Uh, Showing off Zach. for Stewart because Stewart's here. That's what you're doing. Uh, got it. Got it. Got to play to our fellow Patriots. Uh, Buckeye Zach says, "Does the wasteland include bitching about how incompetent the Reds are this year?" Your wasteland, not my wasteland. The wasteland is what you make it. The wasteland is 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 your own personal wasteland. And if that mm. includes bitching about the Reds, then that's your wasteland. That is not my wasteland. Yep. He said, right, see is the previous o- question. Are they the ones with the no hitter and blah, blah, blah words about baseball? Listen, yeah. the only thing I'm less interested in is golf. Fair enough. Is the only good thing about Pittsburgh, Mr. Rogers? No, Pittsburgh is a wonderful city. Um, Mr. Rogers is pretty high on the list, though. Like, I feel like Mr. Rogers is pretty high. No matter where Mr. Rogers was from, he's going to be pretty high on that list. Like, adults. Okay. Uh, was it last week? Maybe it was during a Sloop Cast on, or a Sloop Cats on. It was during our Patreon exclusive episode. I don't remember. Someone asked, "What would what would Jared do if he was king? If we made if we made Jared king of America? Mm-hmm. I would force everyone, adults or otherwise." To watch Mr. Rogers for one hour a day. That's your lunch. You will sit here and you will watch Mr. Rogers for one hour and we will all be better for it. Uh, What about Heinz ketchup? It's mostly sugar. I, I I don't care. I don't, I don't care for, I don't care for conventional ketchup. There are good ketchups out there. Um, but most of them are just like sugar and some tomato water. Yeah. Those are gross. Yes, there are sugar-free ketchups. There are. Tomatoes yes. are fruits. Of course they are. They're, yeah. yeah, they're sugar-free ketchup. Absolutely. Um, see, I've never had a basalmic ketchup. Um, I don't even, it doesn't even need to be a sugar-free ketchup. I just need it to be a no sugar. I, I, the, if the sugar came from the tomato, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So I don't even need it to be sugar-free ketchup. I need it to be like no sugar added ketchup. Cause even with like the sugar-free ketchup, they still throw like artificial, like I like a spicy ketchup. I like a vinegary, vinegary ketchup. Um, but I just, I don't, the second you start sweetening the ketchup, I'm, I'm out. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't, I don't go that. I don't, I don't do that. Right, Kyle, this, this one, audacity this one, this, is, I just want to state this for the record. Audacity is acting really weird right now. And I hope the recording's not getting screwed up. <laughs> this one's for, this one's for, um, look, okay, Zach says this, this question's for, uh, well, it's for those, um, that's in our, in our chat right now. <clears throat> Jared. Yeah. Does Kyle McCord take over in week two? No. Well, what uh, week two of. Which year? <laughs> Stewart was quick to say yes. <laughs> because quite frankly, if he's not the starting quarterback game one in 2023, that's disappointing. I like Kyle McCord. I really, really like Kyle McCord. And I think he's going to do great things for Ohio State in 2023. Or God forbid, if anything happens to CJ Stroud, but CJ Stroud is the quarterback. The last question from Buckeye Zach: When is the Big Ten dropping the dumbass divisions? Well, were people talking about that a little bit ago? Was there a thing on that? Um, I think we did. Yeah, not us. I think other people were. Like, I don't know. Oh, like, I thought we was, did. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, I, pods exactly. Odin says pods. Jared, I you look like a cactus. I, there's no green anywhere in this room. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm a prick. Okay. Uh, you know, 
Austin. I see, right, no, uh, I'm divisions thrown off. I, divisions, Jerry. Yeah, divisions are dumb. Use pods instead. That's that's better. I don't I don't want to I don't want to play Maryland and Rutgers every year. I don't, I know that they're relatively easy opponents. I know. I just, I just don't. And especially if the Big Ten, like, what what happens after the next round of expansion, which is coming? And Ohio State adds additional East Coast teams. Now we're practically playing I'm, I'm, like a I'm, big East ACC schedule I'm, at that point. I'm all for the Big Ten taking over schools in North Carolina so I can watch my Buckeyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think UNC is a potential is a potential uh, target for expansion as do I, as I think uh, Virginia is, which I know doesn't excite people from a football standpoint. I get it, but the big 10 expands based off of research and academics first. And I'm not, I'm not going $10 billion. We did, we did it over, research we did money it a year already. dwarfs anything about anything. Any athletic department does. And mm -hmm. Virginia and UNC are two of the absolute best public universities in the country, period, insane research money coming through those schools. And that's what the Big Ten cares about. That and recruiting territory, that and redefining itself as a Northern Conference as opposed to a Midwest Conference. And, of course, TV deals. Like, um, I say go for everything. UNC, Virginia... Iowa State and Kansas. They aren't doing Iowa State and Kansas. That, no. That's not happening. They're not. They're not. Um, all right. All right. Uh, let's see. Gangland with a few more questions here, Jared. How will the tight ends be? Start. In, how will the tight ends be incorporated more into the passing game? Um, I how. Uh, probably like, mostly in the red zone. Um, well, I know everyone like, I, I know like it's the meme, right? Year of the tight end. Like it's the meme. I get it. But Ohio State uses their tight ends as blockers. If they weren't going to turn Jeremy Rutger in, into a thousand yard wide receiver, then there's no one on the roster who they are going to turn into a thousand yard wide receiver. See you, yeah. Odin. That, yeah, that's yeah. it. That That's... No one on this, no one on this roster right now is as good a pass receiver. Well, I keep forgetting about G Scott being a tight end. So, okay. Um, but even if he is a tight end, like he's a wink and a nod tight end. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, again, if they, Jeremy Ruckert wasn't going to catch however many balls for however many yards, whatever, you, whatever you think the standard is for that, then no, that no one's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, should we expect more NFL schemes on offense to stay explosive? I'm sorry, Kyle, I zoned out. I, I was reading chat. What'd you say? Should we expect more NFL schemes on offense to stay explosive? Um, more NFL schemes on the offense. I don't know. Um, I, I don't, I feel like Ohio State, I feel like this Ohio State coaching staff is really good at doing what they do, but also slowly evolving what they do so it's not stagnant. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like they get that inspiration from a lot of places. Yes, the NFL, but from other places as well. Um, they definitely use a lot of pro style route combinations. It's a thing that they do. Uh, a lot of that depends upon the quarterback you have and what they are good at, the wide receivers you have and what they are good at. But at the same time, like, I don't think any NFL teams use as many rollouts as Ohio State does. And a lot of that's just utilizing the guys that you have. Um, and, you know, we haven't. Yeah, I don't know. It, they're they're they're. It's one of the great things about this offensive coaching staff, Ryan Day in particular, is that 
he does what he does. He's very good at it. But at the same time, they aren't being, um, what's the word I want? Stagnant? That they aren't mm-hmm. they aren't resting on an offense that works and just assuming that it'll keep working. So it's without wholesale changing things, they are, you know, just slowly evolving it. Yep. All right. Uh another question from Gangland. What is the appropriate distance from others to <laughs> to begin crop testing? Well, it just depends upon how loud it's going to be and how good you are at assessing how loud it's going to be. That, that's that's my answer. Oh, and, and by the way, uh, just because uh, it was pretty, pretty expected here based off of everything to seeing, but the number nine player for the 2023 class, Jared, number nine player in the state of Ohio, just committed to Northwestern. Uh, Michael Kilbane from St. Edwards. What was it on Ohio State's radar at all? But no, be... and and that was been um, is it, it's kind of known. It was kind of a known yeah. outcome. Uh, will the Pittsburgh USFL team ever win a game? Pittsburgh has a USFL team. I might actually, I may have known that. I, I actually may have known. Here's the thing about these, these spring. Why, why, why Pittsburgh? Why? I assume they have a team in New York. Why New York? Why Washington, DC? I would straight uh, up be going after college towns. No, they, they actually won a game. Nope. They won. Good for them. I would be going after college towns. Places with people who really like football but don't have professional sports. So probably the perfect one is Birmingham. Birmingham would be a good spot for Columbus would be a good spot for a team. Um, find I'm, big I'm, markets. I'm, I'm looking at that don't have NFL of, teams. Why, why is that a difficult concept? Well, let's see. I, I don't even know where all of these are at. So we have, we have a new Orleans, we have a new Jersey. Let's see, but that, that, that's, that that's my whole thing. Like why why Houston? Why New Jersey? Like there's one just that says just Michigan. But they so is suck. That, is that Detroit? Probably. Oh, no, it just says Michigan. It's probably Detroit. Yeah, that that's the only one really. It's just Birmingham. Yeah, I, I would just be going after like the biggest markets without NFL teams. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a difficult concept and I don't know why that's not executed and like bonus yeah. points. If they have a stadium and I'm not saying that the shoe would let them in, but the, you know, the crew, you know, Ohio, uh, Columbus has a brand new stadium it's, in downtown Columbus for the crew. Um, or his historic crew stadium. It's not, it's not, it's not like there's going to be a ton of people to watch the game either. It's true. Um, the, but you could use historic. Well, they, they use uh, old crew stadium for training and stuff. So maybe I, I don't know how well they're upkeeping all of the stuff around the stadium, as far as like the concession stands and the bathrooms. And all, like, I just don't know. Like that's maybe true. that stadium is capable of hosting a bunch of people and maybe it's not, I have no idea. Um, Cause it's mostly being used as a training facility right now. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I think the last question I have here is from Austin. He asks, Jared, can we do a meetup in, at the Columbus Atlanta game on the 28th? Um, I don't have the schedule up. Is that May 28th? Yes. What? That is a week from this Saturday. So in 13 days. I can roll with that. I uh, yeah, I if yeah. I can do that. Whoever wants to come. Yeah, um I, I assume yeah, you, you have the uh general access Nordeke ticket. We'll meet up. Nice. Cool. Anyone else who wants to be there? Let me know. Austin and I will be there apparently. 
All right. That's all the questions here, Jared. That many many a beer. All. Many a beer. Maybe even beforehand or afterhand. I don't know, but beers, 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 beers. <laughs> all hands, beers in all hands. Hey, Spikes is here. Hey, Z Spikes. Unfortunately, we're just about to end. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, all right, Kyle, that was and the last he, question. That was the last question here. Now, let's see. Spikes has a question. Just uh, any question that you have for us. Yeah, because you just joined right at the end of the show. If you want to throw a question at us, we'll, we will answer it. My computer's acting stupid. I really hope that this recording's not getting screwed up. He's got nothing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Kyle's about to do Kyle's Corner. Uh, so if you think of something, no, no bads. Did I freeze for a second? Man, I really hope this recording's not getting screwed up because my computer's acting real laggy. Um, so, uh, Kyle, you do the Kyle Corner thing. And Z-Spikes, if you think of anything, ask it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it afterwards. Kyle, what you got? Uh, I'll, do, all right, I'll, do, um, I'll do a few... Just a few things here. Just a quick rundown of um, uh, former former Ohio State players here. So, no, to no surprise, no surprise, Kyle Young announces his retirement wow. from basketball. Yeah. Not coming back for his sixth or tenth year. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chris Olave gets a gets a big deal over nineteen million dollar deal with the Saints which the Saints nice. are starting to look really scary this year. As long as they have a good quarterback, they should be really scary. Uh, yeah, underpaid. Yeah, I agree, Austin. And uh, No, he's not. I, it, it's that, That's a rookie contract. He's never played a down yeah. in the NFL. It's an appropriate. It, but the, back in the day, the rookie contracts were stupid. And... Uh, Kyle, my, my Bluetooth headset just died, so I didn't hear a word you just said. Um, I, I think, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how fast I can switch everything over, especially since it's the end of the show. So I think I'm just going to end it. I can't hear anything. Um, but the recording seems to, I'm still picking up sound waves everywhere. So I think we should still be good. Uh, so I am just going to end this now. So with, uh, all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink. Oh, by the way, uh, we're doing Courtney from work again. I almost forgot that doing Courtney from work again. They have a couple live shows coming up. Go see them. Go see them. They have a couple live shows going uh, and I'll be at one of them. I'm not telling you which one, but they have a couple and I'll be at one of them. So uh, with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Courtney from work. <laughs>